In this problem, we're told a 500 kilogram rocket sled can be accelerated at a constant rate from rest to 1600 kilometers per hour in 1.8 seconds. What is the magnitude of required of the required net force? So I'm just going to draw a car because I don't know what a rocket sled is. But we have this car and we know here I'm going to draw it bigger actually. So here's our car and we know it's going to be 500 kilograms. So 500 kg. And so we know it can be accelerated at a constant rate from rest. So it's going to start at rest. So it's going to be traveling zero meters per second and to 1600 kilometers per hour in 1.8 seconds. So it's going to travel for 1.8 seconds. And then at this point, the car is going to be going 1600 kilometers per hour. So this is just going to be a drawing of what's going on. Now let's write down our given. So what are we given? So given, so we're told the mass of it, right? 500 kgs. So that's going to stay the same. So mass equals 500 kilograms. And it can be accelerated at a constant rate from rest. So it's going to start at rest and then go to this, go to 1600 kilometers per hour. So its initial velocity, right? Where it starts is going to be zero meters per second. So you're going to solve these kind of like kinematic equations, but there's an extra step involved. And then its final velocity is going to be 1600 kilometers per hour. So I'm just going to label that as V. So V equals 1600 kilometers per hour. And then it's going to be doing this in 1.8 seconds. So T, which stands for time, it's going to be 1.8 seconds. So 1.8 S. So now we've laid that out. Uh, what you need to realize is we're trying to find the required or the magnitude of the required net force. And so force, you need to know force equals mass times acceleration. So notice how we're given the mass. The mass is 500 kilograms. So we have that, but we don't have the acceleration. That's what we're going to be solving for using these variables. And so we need to find this acceleration and then we'll be able to find the force. But keep in mind acceleration when you do this, it needs to be in meters per second squared and this needs to be in kilograms. And so what we need to do is when we solve this, make sure these units are in meters per second or they're seconds, meters, depends on which one you're using, but they got to be in those units. So notice how this is in kilometers per hour. So what we have to do is convert this into meters per second. So let's go ahead and do that. So 1600 kilometers per hour. Let's get rid of the kilometers first and turn it to meters. So we know that there's 1000 meters for every one kilometer. Or I wrote this wrong way. It goes on top. So 1000 meters for every one kilometer. And you'll see here that they cancel like this. So essentially multiply by 1000 and you'll get it in meters. But notice how we still have the hour. So we got to get rid of that. So for every one hour, there's going to be, uh, you can do this. I'm just going to skip a step. So this is going to be 3600 seconds, right? Because there's 60 minutes in an hour. Or there's 60 minutes in an hour and then 60 seconds in each of those. So if you just multiply those 3,600 seconds in an hour, so that would cancel. And if you do this, uh, you're going to have 1,600 times 1,000 divided by 3,600 essentially. And if you do this, you'll get 444.44 meters per second, right? Meters in seconds on the bottom, so meters per second. So we're going to rewrite this as 444.44 meters per second. So now we've got everything in the correct units, we can actually go ahead and solve for acceleration. So the equation we're going to use is V equals V sub zero plus A times T. And so hopefully by now you're pretty good at kinematic or kinematics. So we have all the variables, right? We have V, we have V sub zero, and we have time. So we can solve for A. So V we know is zero, or no, V is 444.44. That's going to be equal to V sub zero, which is zero, plus A, right? So A, we're just leaving it as A because that's what we're solving for, times 1.8. So 444.44 equals 1.8 A. If we want to solve for A, divide both sides by 1.8. And if you do this, you're going to get A equals, like, uh, if you do 444.44 divided by 1.8, you're going to get 246.91. And then keep in mind the units, so it's in meters per second squared, correct? So meters per second squared. And then now what we want to do is actually solve for force. So we have the acceleration, right? Force equals mass times acceleration. And now we, we have the mass, right? That was given to us. So we just plug it in. So the force is going to be equal to the mass, which is 500 times your acceleration, which is 246.91. 
If you go ahead and do this, you're going to get the force equals uh, 1, 123,000. 123,455. So that right here is going to be your answer in newtons, right? Because we're using newtons because this is in kilograms. This is in meters per second squared. Uh, what I'm going to go, what I'm going to go ahead and do though is round this. So I'm just going to make it 120,000, and then I'm just going to put it in scientific notation. So we can just one, move it over, right? The decimal one, two, three, four, five. So we can just rewrite it as 1.2 times 10, and then we moved it over five places, correct? So 1.2 times 10 to the fifth, and then still newtons. So that's just a more simplified answer, uh, just uh, based off how you want to do it, based on what your teacher wants. So just do it however your teacher wants, but this is just a more simplified answer. So yeah, hopefully you found this video useful.